All right, y'all. Hey, <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay, so today I'm going to give you guys a quick and basic tutorial of how to apply strip fall. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, y'all. Today I'm going to give you guys a quick and basic tutorial on how I apply false lashes to my eyes in less than five minutes. Alright, y'all. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to give you guys a basic tutorial on how to apply false lashes. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be applying strip false lashes to my eyes. I'm going to basically show you my technique, the basic fundamentals that you need when you're doing this. I'm gonna show you how to get this done in five minutes. The reason why I decided to do this tutorial is I always have my friends and family members, always, they're always asking me, who does your eyelashes? Now when I say I do, they're like, oh my gosh, how did you learn how to do this? And it, it it's really not that hard, but again, practice makes perfect. And you gotta try it a couple of times. Like the first couple of times I tried it, I failed, but that was like over 10 years ago now. I can do my eyelashes in less than like five minutes flat. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick and basic tutorial on how I achieve applying false lashes. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite brand of lashes that I'm currently using right now. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna give you a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how I do it. First things first, you're gonna need lashes. These are the lashes that I'm currently using. The brand is called Mink. Ooh, okay, the brand is called The Flare, and these are the NY Mink 100% Mink Hair Lashes. The reason why I like these lashes is, if any of y'all have used strip eyelashes before, sometimes the strip can be kind of harsh on your um, on your eyes. So I like these ones because the strip is very thin and it is very lightweight. Like when I put these lashes on, although it does look like I'm wearing a lot of lashes, when you put them on, they actually are pretty lightweight. So these are my go-to. Another thing that you're gonna need, y'all, is tweezers. Very important, tweezers. Tweezers basically gives you the precision on how to apply the lashes. And also when you're applying the glue to the lashes as well, you wanna use the tweezers because it basically, you don't wanna get any oils from your hand on the lashes or also on the glue because it won't stick as well as it does when you use the tweezers. You're gonna need eyelash glue. The eyelash glue I'm gonna be using today is the same brand as my eyelashes, which is by Le Flair. It is my favorite, it's the Strip Lash Adhesive, and this is my go-to. Another thing that you're gonna potentially need is scissors. The reason why I use scissors is because most of the time when you purchase these lashes, they are longer than your, the length of your eye. So I usually trim about two knots off the end of the lashes or off the, the end corners of the lashes. I measure the lashes against your eye just to make sure that it's the right length before you cut it. And last but not least, a hair dryer. But all right, so last but not least, a hair dryer. I know you're probably thinking like, you're not blow drying your hair, but the reason why I use the hair dryer is I actually use the dryer to blow dry the eyelashes. I blow dry them for about 20 seconds before, like I put the glue on the strip, then I blow dry the strip of the lashes for about 20 seconds, then I apply them to my eyes, and I find that it allows my lashes to stick. I Before I, I started to use the hair dryer, I used to put the lashes on my eye, and then like the corners would start lifting or it just wouldn't stick properly at all. When I use the hair dryer and I place them on my lashes, it sticks. But one thing about the hair dryer is, is if you're gonna use it, you better know where you're gonna place those lashes. Cause once you start trying to pick it up and move it after you've placed it in the wrong position, it can get kind of messy. All right, so this is what it looks like when it comes out the package. I don't even know if it's focusing, but this is what it looks like when it comes out the package. And what I do is, my first step that I do is I open the package, I take the lashes out and I measure them up against my own lashes. One thing that you're not gonna wanna do is, is you're not gonna wanna have lashes that like basically are not the right fit for your eyes because that's when you end up getting the corners that lift. And once a corner starts lifting, like the whole thing goes to shit. Like basically the whole thing's gonna lift. All right. So one thing that I do is, is I do take my lashes and then I do roll them like this, basically to like form them to the shape of my eye, just to give it a little bit more flexibility. Ladies, you know that if you're using false lashes, sometimes they can, when they come with the package, the track that goes on your eye can be a little bit harsh. And the reason why I actually prefer these lashes is because it's very soft and they're very weightless as well. So first thing I'm gonna do is measure them against my own lashes. I know how much I usually take off, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go through the step of what I do. So 
They do look okay, but I don't like it when it's all the way in the corner of my eye because my eye tends to tear. And when my eye tears, the rest of the lash gets wet. So, and then I have to take them off and reapply them. So I know that by cutting off one or two lashes or one or two, one or two knots off the end is equivalent to what my eye length is, okay? Second eyelash, I'm measuring it. It does go all the way to the end over here and also all the way to the end over there as well. I don't like it when it is in my corners because again, if my eyes do tear up, my eyelashes will basically fall off. They won't fall off, but they'll start to lift. And then that annoys me because I am a little bit of a perfectionist and I like to have everything perfect. Last thing I need to do is be at work in these corporate boardrooms, having meetings with these executives and have my eyelash lift off. Like, what? How embarrassing would that be? All right. So now that I've cut the corners off of my eyelashes, I'm gonna take my eyelash and I'm gonna take my eyelash glue and I'm gonna apply it to the track of the eyelash. My jeans are rubbing up on my chair and it keeps making this awkward noise. Are you sure? All right, so now I'm going to apply the glue to the track of the eyelash. As you can see, I didn't use a stick or anything like that. I just basically brushed it on. I'm not going crazy with the glue, not putting too much glue. And this is my secret trick that I use. I actually use a blow dryer and I blow dry the track of the eyelash for about 20 seconds. So it actually will stick right when I do apply it. And this actually makes my eyelashes last longer without having to reapply them every single day. So in my head, I have a process. I mentally just counted <laughs> to 20 Mississippi. Um, you can use the tweezers or you can just use your hand. What I do is I'm going to pull the corner of my eye and I'm going to place this right in the middle. I line it up in the middle of my eye. Okay. I do sometimes use my fingers or the tweezers depending and just position it exactly where I want it to go. So positioning it right at the front of my eye, but not in that very, very corner because that's where my eyes tend to tear up. And I use the back of my tweezers basically just to push it in and open my eyes. And yes, I do have a little bit of residue from the glue under my eye and I'll clean that up last. You don't want to spend time trying to clean that up while your eyes or while your glue is still wet because then you won't position your lash exactly where you want it to be and then when you look at your lashes you're going to be able to see the difference between your actual lash and the false lashes. So I'm going to keep pushing it up. What I do now is I take the blow dryer and I blow my eyelashes for like 10 seconds. So in my head, I'm mentally counting to 10 Mississippi. But look at that difference that that made, guys. And I'm gonna take some selfies later on as well, just so you guys can see exactly what it looks like, okay? Um. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the same glue again on the track of the second eyelash. And one thing I like about these eyelashes are they kind of give that, um, I don't know what it, what's, it's called. I think when you get your eyelash, like individual lashes done, they call them, um, not classic, I think it's like volume. These lashes have volume. The hairs are like feathered and layered, so it gives it a more of a natural look, which I like. So my final step is to blow dry my eyelashes. All right, so voila. 
Um, I don't know if you guys can actually see these lashes clearly, but what I will do is I'm going to take a bunch of pictures and snaps and I'll add it to the end of this video when I go out. Um, I am pressed for time. I'm actually heading to an event right now. So thank you guys for staying. Thank you. Thank y'all for... Thank y'all for... Alright, so thank y'all for watching this tutorial. Like, share, and subscribe. And you can follow me on my social media accounts. You'll find all that information in the comment section below. Alright, thank you.